Okay, as you can see, I've shortened some wires, and the transmitter is on, and I've replaced that resistor right there. And there's some big improvement on the hum. He tells me about it, and I listen with the attitude of a father confessor. When he's done, I dry my eyes and tell him what I think. What I think really doesn't matter, because it's just a shortcut to a hundred dollars a day in expenses. As I pointed out in the video, you can see where I changed out the 1000 ohm resistor for a 100 ohm resistor. Also, I've added an RF choke and that's that uh, coil up in the upper right hand corner. Uh, it's just a wire wound around something magnetic and this one's just a metal screw could use a nail if you wanted to or you could go out and buy an RF choke but this will work just fine now I opened up my junk box and pulled out uh, parts radio and pulled out this little audio transformer and that works pretty good and here I'm getting ready to hook up the power to this and I scratched off the uh, uh, paint on the metal top here and now you can see the audio transformer also the added uh, capacitor in the filter it's a 100 microfarad capacitor and the terminal strip for the power here's a picture of the completed transmitter and note one thing there's no antenna and it's a closed box and that's part of the problem this transmitter is uh, a little hot and that's causing a problem with that hum that we'll get to here is the new wiring diagram and all the items that I added since the first video and in the power supply you can see that I did add a 100 microfarad capacitor and a 330 ohm resistor the RF choke and below that you can see the audio transformer where that is hooked into pin 8 of the 12 SA7 and it goes through the secondary of the um, audio transformer and down through a 10 microfarad capacitor to ground and then the AC connection over at the left I used a three prong plug and the center connection is earth ground plus that center connection is also connected to the metal cabinet of the transmitter shielding it pretty well down there to see if I could promote the news in the currency it was a good idea except that my horse was still running in a third when they started the fourth all I had left of my bankroll was an empty feeling after checking through my pockets I went out on the highway and started back to town I was still unlimbering my thumb when a long, low roadster pulled up beside me. It was a very expensive job, including the driver. She was just about old enough to vote, and if she did, and the candidates worked blind, they'd have spent all their time on her corner. Down my way, I'd sure like to be. How do you know which way I'm going? The next clip, I'm going to be in the garage. And remember, there's no antenna, and everything is inside that grounded metal box. Telling me, your name's Lydia Reynolds. Look, drive up that alley before you get lost. You're not going to finish it right in the street. That's all right. You're right, you're right, not a cop. 
That 60 cycle hum problem is due to the RF of the transmitter getting into the house wiring and that's why I'm able to pick it up all over the house including the garage. This coil is radiating a large amount of RF which is through the internal wiring getting into the transformer and then into the house wiring. So we could try and uh, shield that coil. Another place where it could be getting into the house wiring is through the 12 SA7 tube itself. At this frequency, uh, each of these elements in the tubes has capacitance, but at this frequency, uh, that small amount of capacitance is a direct path for this RF. And the uh, capacitor between the elements that would cause the most problem would be this one, the one between the cathode and the filament. There are several other possibilities of how that RF is getting into the house wiring. So because of this, and I want to keep the cost of this transmitter down, I've decided to do a complete redesign of a vacuum tube FM transmitter. body wasn't much to see, just a standard model citizen with a little too much weight and a little too little hair on his head. If he'd been anything special when he was breathing, it had all gone away like a shout in a high wind. Heldon went through...